Hello there, welcome to another daily video. Today we have a mini drone. This is a Ishin E61 series. <laughs> If you're new here and you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe and leave a like on this video. I can just change colors. Um, this is an LED strip. I can just have it all the way around. I just haven't done it yet because this room is a mess. Literally, if you see this side of the room, you'll just freak out. Recently, I've been messing around with this mini drone. This is a Ishin E10, which is the same brand and if you kind of just like can remove the battery like this is the battery is a bit exposed and all of that and this is not like the best of them but this is you know like really fun to fly around and you can just have you know like a first time flying you can just see how they fly and all of that and this does like a lot of flips and uh, all of that and this drone here is meant to be like a more advanced version of this one uh, this does have a camera but as we know from previous unboxings that I've done in uh, similar drones uh, from this brand, their camera is not the best. Uh, who knows, maybe this is a very good camera. This costs around $29.99, around £30, and let's go ahead and unbox this. Right. Manual, we don't need it. I'm just gonna leave the box over there for now. And it does come in this little plastic package thing, which is very nice. Remove this one and we can see the drone itself. It is tiny, it's really small. And on the front here, we can see the camera. Right, let's see what else is in this box here. And another different thing with this one is that the controller is slightly bigger and you can also have a mobile phone because of the camera and this controller from the Ishin E10 is like tiny um, we also get a micro USB and a little screwdriver here and we also get this we also get this phone holder for the controller you also get this paper it's it says if you were satisfied with the product and leave a review you get an extra battery for free which is very nice you do get extra propellers with this one which is very nice to have because they're plastic and you will probably break them especially if you're like a beginner drone pilot um, and these are very like very sensitive so you have to like used to it for a little bit and then be able to but it does have these propeller guards which is very nice right so I just need to open the controller back it probably needs batteries which I'm gonna have to look for so it does need three double a batteries luckily I do have some over here All right it does oh okay so this button is really nice and clicky and all I have to do now is try and clip this oh pretty easy does look like a nice setup right let's get on to the drone itself the biggest difference with the other one obviously is that the battery you can just ch charge it with a USB by micro USB through here which is very useful and this one it was kind of like like this and it had like the two pins that you had to plug in and it's like all exposed down here which is not ideal like weather sealed and all of that and once you actually charge the battery it's just so easy to use here you just clip it in I guess yeah you just clip it in and then it's all done so let's just see if there's any battery in that right there is some battery in this and it's just ready to fly I don't see any micro uh, like an SD card slots on the drone itself so you will ha probably have to record straight on the phone which is not ideal because it's not gonna be as good as footage but 
This is a tiny camera and I doubt that the footage will be useful anyway. All I have to do now is download the app which it does give you a QR code to scan here. It should be pretty easy to do. Right, so after downloading the app, all you have to do is go to your phone's Wi-Fi, connect to the drone. There is like a really hard name to pronounce. Once you connect, you just open the app and then you just turn it on and if you use another one of these drones or a similar one, so they're all similar process, uh, the way you turn it on is by uh, having the joysticks on opposite side of each other and it turns on. Um, the camera, I have to say, it looks terrible, terrible, terrible. But that was to be expected. Uh, I'm gonna try and go out and fly it a little bit. Uh, although I tried it in here, it's not as easy to control as this one this is pretty easy to control so let's see I have actually changed my mind about this one and uh, now that I've actually tried it, it is like easier to fly around and it does not hold up you know against wind so much and this one either but uh, yeah it, it's, it's really nice if you want to fly around and, and like get some practice uh, you know like with flying drones and all of that um, but the camera as I said is not usable at all it's like five frames and it's like it's not very good quality but that's to be expected at this price point um so would i recommend one of these um i would recommend one of these if you just want to play around and just have some fun and all of that and see you know like get the hang of it how you can fly drones and all of that um but this is not obviously a professional tool and this is not something you can work with or any of that uh, but apart from that, it's £30 and this is just a nice fun toy to play with. Right, this is it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you already haven't. Leave a like on this video and I will see you tomorrow.